Okay, so this is just a quick update video. This is my Acer Aspire 5050 for anybody that's not knowing. And I've made a couple of different changes on it within the past few weeks. Now, I got this, I would have to say, ooh, maybe a couple weeks before Thanksgiving, so almost a month now. I really, really don't even know. But I recently got some extra parts for it that I put into it that I didn't even know I was going to be receiving. So let me just go over that. Uh, first off, when I first had this laptop here on YouTube, and I posted the video up on it, it was in a triple feature video of a few different laptops. So this is the first video of this uh, laptop down here in my messy on my messy basement uh, workbench with all the stuff from previous either experimentation or uh, desoldering projects and stuff like that. And my two uh, things of uh, silver bearing lead free stuff over there. Uh, last time that I had this down here, it was missing both of its bottom covers. I don't know if I did a video showing that I got the one cover, but as of right now, both the covers are here. I've cleaned them up since I've gotten them. They came out very nice. Everything's covered up. And when I use the thing, my legs don't feel that hot anymore. Thank you, God. Now, this thing still is a lap melter, though. And that's really not going to ever change. Sadly, the AMD Turions were very hot. They ran very hot. And it was not uncommon to see them running at around 80 to 90 degrees Celsius, even though that's very close to the maximum recommended temperature for them to be running at. But, nonetheless, a couple of different changes within this laptop by itself. I don't know if the last video that I did this with, only because I don't have a laptop or anything down here with me right now to check, uh, covered anything about uh, the wireless card, but I know that the wireless card in this right now is not stock. It's an Apple uh, Foxconn and Apple sort of branded Broadcom 4321AG uh, Broadcom card. 802.11n, 300 megabits. I'm not exactly sure about anything regarding that, but we'll just keep it at that. Battery, I found out, has about 35% wear on it, so I can't keep it off of uh, the charger for more than an hour. Um, yeah. Still have the same 160 gig hard drive up there. I got, I found the, the rest of the caddy for it, so that's all set up and done in there. Um, on the inside, as you can sort of see, the screen is sort of dusty, and there's still a very few smudge marks on it now, but it's a lot cleaner than it was before. And hey, there I am. Hey, how's it going? All right, so place this down here because that's not all that I have to show you here. Uh, the last time that I had this laptop down here, I uh, also made a remark that I don't have the correct charger for it. And that's still the case. I don't have the actual OEM charger for this laptop. However, I did go to work. Whew. Wow. Talking in front of the camera makes me so tired, I don't even know why. Uh, but I went to my boss at work, and I asked him if he had uh, possibly a 19-volt charger of more than three amps laying around and it just so happened that he did now me helping uh... helping him with something else uh... he kinda owed me and i still kinda owe him for a couple things as well so he said just take it because he has a whole uh... kajillion other ones uh... now that's sort of the case when you work at a place like i do where stuff comes in and goes out every so often and I guess laptops to AC adapters get lost. So I don't have the OEM adapter, it's not an OEM adapter, instead it's a third party adapter but it looks like it's semi reputable. Um, anybody that goes to Radio Shack on any kind of basis will uh, remember, will know the Enercell brand. Now of course Enercell really didn't manufacture this, it just has their branding and the little translucent uh, thing over the green LED. I would have to say that this was probably uh, custom manufactured for them. If you take a look on the back here, it does have their logo on the back. It's not some sort of like Han Quang 
Yep, Nong, whatever, uh, power supply from Shenzhen, China. That would not be nice. It was, however, custom manufactured in China for Ignition Alping, which I guess are the uh, owners of the Intercell branding that is being sold at Radio Shack. You can see that right there. I've also scratched off the serial number there, only because anything were to happen I don't want that showing up you can see the catalog number there 273048 if you take a look at that on eBay you'll see that there are still quite a few of these still being sold new in package and also used uh, this does take a very weird connector on it let me go ahead and show you that right now this is the adapter end it has three pins one there in the middle, I'm guessing, is some sort of a sensing pin telling the, the adapter that there is something plugged into it. And you have uh, both of your, uh, I guess, positive and negative uh, uh, pieces right there where the end plugs in. Now, on this, I do have a couple of adapters. Whew. Wow, this really is tiring. I don't even know why. Uh, first off, I would guess that this third pin here you know what it's not even a sensing pin that's actually wow okay yeah the third pin is actually passed through for five volts if you take a look here on the inside of this and this goes to a USB adapter that's manufactured for this you can see there the model number model number SD S0053N01 it's USB dongle Input DC is 15 to 20 volt 1 amp, and output is 5 volt 1 amp. So this is a 1 amp uh, USB uh, adapter there, also bearing the Intercell name. I'm guessing also manufactured by the same company for this particular uh, unit piece. And then on the other side, you've got the pass-through for regular 15 to 20 volts, which would be 19 here. And then you plug that right in there. And on the end you've got an actual tip. This is the actual tip that I need for this laptop. Uh, this is the actual diameter and thickness that the outer should be for the inner and all that stuff, for positive, negative, whatever. But it fits. It fits nice and snug. That's all I care about. And if you take a look over here, it actually fits in there. Nice and snug and it doesn't move around. Best thing about this is if I tug on it, it comes right undone with no uh, damage to the jack itself. However, I would not recommend doing this uh, as your jack can really get seriously damaged. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this in, I'm gonna power it up, and you're gonna see some uh, pretty nice stuff, I guess. It's quite different from the last time that I had it plugged in and powered up here. Let me plug it in. Ooh, you heard that crack? Huh. You see, enter self thing uh, turns on nice and green light. Hooray. So let's go ahead and do that. Green light. Now, the other thing that I've done here is I've installed... Ooh, I don't know if he, he caught that there, but... Ooh, I... I think I have to stop having my finger over the microphone here. You see right here, you can't even see it, but the microphone is right here. If I have my finger over it, you start, my voice becomes mumbled, and you start hearing the autofocus on the lens going all over the place. So we don't want that. <laughs> uh, but what you can see here is uh, I have installed a Turion 64X2 TL60. This replaced the MK38 that was originally in here. So, I'm going to go right ahead and I'm going to log in. Okay, I'm logging in. Yes, the screen is actually pretty dusty. I've got to clean it off. Hey, it's a Canada shirt. Mind you, I'm not actually in Canada. Just in case you're wondering. It's just a shirt. I'm wearing it. Got a problem with that? Go take it up someplace else. Okay. I'll go right in here and run uh, Harwin 464. That'll give me a little bit more of uh, what I need to really show instead of Specky. But yes, Turion 64 X2TL60. It's Taylor, so it's 90 nanometers. 
uh, socket S1 generation one. I also have an Athlon 2 M300 upstairs, 2 gigahertz. It's S1 G3, and although it's the same uh, socket pinout, the voltages are different, and I am probably sure that the BIOS is never going to support this. But you can see all the stuff that it does support up to SSE 3, which is very nice. It's got 64 bit and all that other stuff. And it's got secure virtual machine, so I am able to run uh, a virtual machine on this. You see, it's got both cores there. They're escalating between 800 megahertz and 2000 megahertz, aka 2 gigahertz. That's how fast the damn thing is. And it actually runs pretty well. You can see what I have here. 200, 1100, 1150, blah, 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 M. They're all pretty much the 200 M uh, core, and they just have that, and just tells it how fast to run, I guess. <sighs> so, let's go ahead. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I seem to be really tired today, tonight. You know why that is, boys and girls? That's why that is. It's actually 1.33 in the goddamn morning. Wow! Okay. Uh-oh. It seems my uh, heater is starting to uh, have a little temper tantrum back there. Our gas heater that supplies heat to all the places in our house. Take a look over here. <laughs> yeah. This is my old ass heater. I guess it's from the 1990s. It has three pumps that pump the water up into the uh, up into the ceiling there. They get uh, distributed all over the place from there. I really don't even know if this is code or not, but the hell with it. It works. I haven't had a problem yet. Got some sort of extra canister there. I don't even know. 12 psi for expansion and a hydronic heating system. Okay. Yeah, we've got three pumps here. They're all running. Uh, they've all uh, recently gotten lubed up. This is uh, hot. I don't even know what half of this stuff is. But it works. And over here we've got my uh, hot water heater. 12 year limited tank. Hmm. When did I get this? Why? Got it in 1998, I guess. Or something like that. No, when was it? When was it bought? Villager Hardware. It was bought. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that. But we got it. Villager's Hardware, which is pretty much a Home Depot knockoff that they tried uh, starting. And look, that's when we got it. February tenth, two thousand one. So at least eleven years ago, almost twelve. So don't feel on us now, buddy. All right, onwards. Let's get a quick specy in here. This is that thing is actually running a lot faster with the Turion uh, 64X2 than it was just regular Turion 64. So I'm actually very happy with that. It actually does run a little cooler too. So anything uh, to keep everything, yeah, doing about 50, 49, 50 degrees Celsius by itself right there. Each of the two cores, though. Ooh. I have my finger over the, the, the stupid microphone again. I gotta stop doing that. Huh. Yeah. They're both escalating between 49 and 50 degrees Celsius at any given time. Uh, it runs. It works. You can see all the stuff that I have in there. I still have the 160 gig drive that I had. Uh, still got the DVD burner that's able to do uh, dual layer DVD uh, DVDs for burning and stuff. Um, still got the same four gigs. Still got the same Realtek HD audio. Oh, something that I noticed about this is that the audio jack is a lot is a different color than the rest. What I noticed was this also is an optical audio jack. I don't know if you can see in there, but there is actually an optical red light. And when you trigger a particular, I guess, piece of metal in there, it actually lights up. To demonstrate, I'm going to try and get it to screw. Let's 
source you're waiting to turn on. Yeah, regardless, I don't want to put that in there too far. I don't want to mess up the audio jack. This actually has optical out. For a laptop, that's actually pretty nice. Meaning, if I wanted to, I could take a FLAC file, that's 24-bit, 192 kilohertz. I could run it through optical out to a device that supports playing that type of, uh, that type of audio output, and I should be fine. That's actually pretty nice. So... Well, even though I'm never going to have anything like that, uh, 2496 works at this point on anything. And even though I'm not that much of an audiophile, I do keep uh, all my audio files at uh, pretty top quality for whatever uh, sound form I have to rent. So I'll have it at like MP3, 320. Um, anything that I've been ripping off of CDs, I've been keeping ALAC for the moment. Only because I've been uh, working with iTunes and uh, stuff like that. Also, I don't like the new iTunes uh, logo. It's white and blue and crap, or silver and blue, or whatever. I liked it better when it was all dark, darkish with the dark logo in the middle. It, it it stands out too much now, and it's just like why. I'm not really that that happy with it. But oh well, nothing I can really do with it. So that's the end of this, I guess coming up on about 17 minutes for this so I'm going to let it go there I am in the background again, hi see my reflection on the stupid glossy screen, I've said it before I don't like glossy screens only because uh, not only are they dust and fingerprint magnets although really, I, I can't see that. even though that they're dust and fingerprint magnets, they do have a very nice, sharp, uh, crisp uh, thing on it the uh, pixel quality is really uh, nice and crisp, but they're harder to read in sunlight, and again, dust and fingerprint magnets, you can just see it on there, just just looking at an angle, you can see a fingerprint there when I was just smudging something off the off the panel itself. And although it's one more, I, I guess, very small layer of security in case something taps into it, because it does take a little more force for a glossy screen to get cracked just a bit. You don't really notice it when you're actually really cracking it, but still, it's not all that nice. So, I'm going to leave it at that, only because I don't really have anything else to, to show here. Uh, I really, within the last uh, couple weeks I've been getting this set up, it's now to my liking with the theme, which is uh, Glass Onion Dawn uh, Calibri. So, everything's all Calibri all over the place instead of... Uh, should go, should go UI, as I like to call it. So, got that. I got the Orby Start Orb going there. Uh, because of the minimal, uh, minimal taste of everything. No icons on the desktop. And I really should have down here mini bin, but I don't know what happened to that. It should be running. So I'll have to take a look into why that is. Got MRC, Opera, Next. Uh, SRWare Iron and iTunes in my uh, taskbar, superbar, whatever you want to call it. Those are the only four that I ever have pinned to my, to my uh, taskbar at any given time. Only because they're the four most used programs that I'll ever use. Especially IRC, so I'll have them IRC there. I've been thinking about having putty and stuff in the taskbar, but it just gets too cluttered after a while. So instead, I put them up here. Uh, as well as I've got like a remote desktop connection upstairs to the Opteron, that sort of thing. I did get my Opteron box up again though, today. So it's completely up and running with Windows 7 and everything. I've just got to get it configured like I have this. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I'm probably either going to keep it as a spare or I'm going to put it down here as a workbench computer or something along that those lines. So I'm I'm thinking about it. We'll see how that goes. It's nothing really too personal about it. I do like this and stuff, but it really doesn't have that long of a battery life, and that's not really what I need. So, I'm probably going to keep it down here, or I'm just going to keep it on the shelf someplace as a backup laptop. 
anyway, uh, if anybody has any suggestions as to what I should do with this, I will definitely, uh, I, I guess, entertain any uh, suggestions that come my way. We'll see how that goes. I really don't uh, have anything else to share about this otherwise. There's really nothing else. It does play Unreal Tournament very nicely. I think I've shown that before, actually. Or did I show... No, I showed... I, I showed the... Which one did I show? I showed the E265M playing Unreal Tournament 2004. So, this one actually, I just have UC99 in here for now. I've actually got to fix it up some more. I've also got Putty and Mumble on here. Uh, I talk with some uh, guys on Mumble every so often. Uh, if you uh, do often go to Ryzen and you happen to idle in uh, the channel Pansaman, you'll find out about this uh, Mumble uh, server that I go to. And maybe you can go in there and hang out with me and some other peeps sometimes. Yeah, I said peeps. It's not even Easter. <laughs> Alright, so with that, I'm going to leave it at that. We'll uh, call it a day. Uh, I'm just way too tired now. It's already close to quarter to two in the morning. So yeah. We'll call it call it, uh, call the video here, and I'll uh, upload this to YouTube. We'll see how big the the file is because it's probably huge. But I have a 16 gig SDHD card in this camera now, so I am not uh, pining for space at all anymore. I can take up to 200 something minutes of video and still have some left over for pictures. So I'm pretty much happy with that. Uh, the other thing that I'm thinking about doing besides this. I, I do have to mention, I do have a Power Mac G3 upstairs. It's a 300 megahertz, and I'm thinking about taking this monitor over here, 1024 by 768, little 15 inch e machines one, and just using that with it down here. But I'd have, also have to take a router down here, set up client bridge and stuff. That's why I'm kind of looking at this laptop, but I really don't know. Just, just keep down here or something like that. I really don't want this to get beat up though, uh, when you come, come think about it. This is actually one of my more complete laptops that I have, besides the E265M and the X120E. So, we'll really see how that goes along. Maybe I'll put a D600 or maybe the D5, oh no wait, the D510 is getting sold to somebody. I made a deal for 100 bucks to uh, and sell that off to somebody because their grandma needs a laptop. So we'll see how that goes. We're supposed to be getting paid within the next couple weeks. So... See how this goes with the LCD, uh, and we'll, uh, I, I guess, and we'll see how everything else goes. All right, so we'll call that a video. Uh, stay tuned for more, I guess, and I guess uh, I don't even know how to end this. I'm not good at ending videos. Just remember that. All right, so bye for now.